Many people ask how solar can save them money, so let's dive in to see what plays a part in your return and what you can expect. If you have a solar setup with no battery, when the sun is out, your solar system will be producing power. Now, if you're using electricity in the home, your solar power will go there first and any extra required will be pulled from the grid. If you are producing more power than you need, then your loads in the home will be covered and then any excess will be sent back to the grid for a credit. In this scenario, your solar power has two values. Now, if it's used directly in the home, its value is what you would pay for power, let's say 36 cents. And if you export it to the grid, the value is what your electricity retailer is willing to pay, let's say 12 cents. This is why self-consumption matters more when you don't have a battery. The more you can use directly, the more money you will save. So, let's run through an example. Bob has a 7 kilowatt solar system consisting of 16 panels. He produces about 8,500 units of energy per year. Bob uses 50% of his solar energy directly in his home and he sends the other 50%, which is excess, back to the grid. Each unit in his home is worth 36 cents and each unit sent back to the grid is worth 12 cents. The 50% used directly in his home amounts to about $1,500 a year and the 50% sent back to the grid amounts to about $500 a year, a total savings of over $2,000 per year. Bob's system cost him $15,500 including GST, which means his system will pay off in seven years, giving a return on investment of around 13%. Bear in mind that this calculation is done in simple terms. It doesn't allow for the usual electricity price increases. Now, as the price of electricity increases over the years, your return just gets better and better. Now, Bob has not changed any of his behavior in the example above. If Bob did some simple things, like putting appliances on timers, things like hot water cylinders, heating, or electric vehicle, then it's likely Bob could increase his self-consumption to say 75%. If he did this, he would save over two and a half thousand dollars per year, bringing his payback down to six years and increasing his return to 16%. Bob's panels come with a 30 year warranty. So that means they'll carry on producing power for 24 years after completely paying for themselves. If instead you have a battery as part of your system, such as the Tesla Powerwall, then you're gonna be more self-sufficient, you're gonna increase your self-consumption and you're gonna have backup power if there's a grid outage. We found that the best way you can save money with your solar and battery setup is by using it in conjunction with a variable plan from your power company. Lots of power companies now offer variable plans where peak electricity is expensive and off peaks really cheap, or sometimes it's even free. For example, on Contact's Good Nights plan, power is free between the hours of 9 p.m. and midnight. So that enables you to fully charge your battery cost free. So, on a typical day, your battery will start at midnight fully charged and discharge into your home overnight. When the sun comes up, your solar can take over and even begin to charge your battery again. When the sun goes down, the battery will support your loads during the evening until you hit 9pm and the battery starts to charge again from free power. At times, you may use the grid once the battery is empty or on cloudy days, and at other times you'll be completely self-sufficient. We've seen this work really well for our customers with returns of up to 15% and payback periods of under seven years. We recently covered our customers' experience using a variable plan with three hours of power. To watch this, check out the link in the description. So, whether you get solar only or solar with a battery, it is gonna save you money and deliver you a good return on investment. We usually see returns of 10 to 20%. If you're deciding between the two, and it's important to note that self-consumption is key when considering solar alone. If you're the sort of person who can move around your usage to be in line with when the sun is out, then solar alone could work well. If you would rather set and forget your system with the added bonus of backup power, then solar with a battery will work better for you. Get in touch so we can help you understand which system will work better for you and how you can start saving money.